The National Weather Service in Buffalo, we uh, completed a storm survey uh, early this afternoon here in the town of Java uh, through the town of Weathersfield. Uh, we have determined that there was uh, damage consistent with an EF2 tornado with maximum wind speeds of approximately 115 miles an hour uh, and an estimated path width of the tornado of about 200 yards. Uh, we're approximating based upon radar and uh, statements from people that we've talked to today that the tornado touched down about 1040 this morning and remained on the ground for 15 minutes traveling a distance of 10 miles uh, from an initial point of basically where we're standing right now at uh, Chafee Road and East Arcade. Followed Route 78 east from here roughly about 10 miles uh, coming off the ground finally uh, just west of Route 19. Um, the, the barn structure behind us that you saw uh, we estimated it moved about 25 feet on its foundation and twisted. Um, actually on the backside, the newest part of the barn uh, was basically a total collapse um, and that is probably the strongest uh, damage indicator that we had uh, from this tornado. Um, along the track of the tornado there were many many dozens, hundreds probably, of hard and softwood trees that were either uprooted or snapped uh, in several places along the track of the tornado, uh, along with several other uh, buildings along Route 78 uh, that had damage to their roofs or outbuildings along the track. Um, so just to recap, we are confirming an EF2 tornado from an initial touchdown of 1040 this morning uh, to a final lift off the ground of approximately 1055 maximum wind speed 115 miles an hour and a estimated width of 200 yards and a track length of about 10 miles. So the width, 200 yards, 10 miles. Right. Um, does it seem unusual to have an EF2 around here? Usually it's a zero or a one. The, the majority of them that you would have in most areas would be a, a, an EF0 or one. I wouldn't say it's unheard of at all, no. Uh, but it would be far less uh, frequent than an EF-0 or an EF-1. Uh, I guess uh, there wasn't a lot of warning about the actual tornado warning. I guess there wasn't, uh, can you speak to you know, how much time people had in the area to kind of get ready for such, such an extreme event? The initial warning went out at 10.37 a.m. Um, based upon the, what we, we talked to with people uh, that were actually affected by it, the warnings did come through on their phones. So they were able to take action to uh, protect themselves and their loved ones before uh, the tornado actually struck them. How, how, how amazing is it that EF2 tornado said it went for about 10 miles, that there's no reports of anyone being seriously hurt? Yeah, I think, I think one of the most amazing things of this, this whole story today is, is the story of the barn behind us, uh, where not only were none of the people in the home behind us hurt, or killed, but none of the livestock was either. Um, and, and you can you can just witness the damage that that was done to that barn, and it's it's sort of a miracle. The fact that it missed right the path. I mean, that's that's kind of incredible that it came from like along the lines of what you're saying that it came from down this way and just missed the house. What's the likelihood of, of hitting the barn behind it? Yeah, I, that, these these sort of things are serendipitous sometimes, and. Um, you know, it, luckily enough, the, the people in this house did get the warnings on their phone and were able to take cover. So even if the home had been hit, they were in safe keeping. Did it come from this direction? Because you have the damage here, you have right. the fence pole here, the fence pole here. This is basically where the damage started in, in this general vicinity right here. And then it basically went due east uh, from here down uh, Route 78. And how much damage is down 78? Earlier we were in there's there's a lot of trees uh, damaged, mostly on the north side of the road, but also some on the south side of the road as well. You can see um, a couple of places where the tornado tornado actually full on snapped dozens of trunks of, of hardwood trees all in all in the line basically. Uh, how long is this section of road going to be closed? Uh, this road will be closed probably for about another hour. 
Um, DOT is just finishing up now, clearing some of the road and, and some tree removals. Um, so hopefully here within the next hour we'll be able to get the road back open. Any idea how long Route 78 and the other one you mentioned? Are That's the road that will be closed, oh. yeah, for about probably another hour, I would estimate. Are we dealing with power outages? Here? There's about 60 power outages in the town of Weathersfield right now. Um, all other power has been restored. Um, only other outages from that would be if they have to shut something down to make other repairs. But from the storm itself, there's only about 60 out. Um, they're estimating uh, 7 o'clock tonight for restoration for those. For an EF2 tornado, is there an emergency declaration in terms of the damage that was done? How does that work? We are working with the state, with um, Assemblymen and, and the Senator's offices on the state. We've been in contact with both of them, um, you know, in, in communication with our state counterparts as well. So. You know, it, it's too early to say if there would be any type of financial assistance available, but you know, we'll explore those options and work with them. Will there be an emergency demolition order to have the rest of the barn shaken down? Like, what is, what is the safety right now? Um, right now on the barn, I'm not sure on there. Our building codes department was out and looked at it. Um, we'll follow up with them and see if there's any sort of emergency demolition or if they're, they're okay with the structure as is. Um, they've evaluated the house and they didn't have any concerns about the structural integrity of that house. Um, there's two other buildings with some damage, um, you know, that we're aware of right now, and there's a couple other reports that we're still following up on on, on damage. Where's the other reports of the damage? They're all right along Route 78. Um, a couple of them are just within a, a couple hundred feet off of 78 on some of the secondary roads. Yep, going out towards Route 19. Right, yeah, I mean, it, what, what you're talking about, sort of a technical thing, uh, oftentimes on radar, um, there's uh, some of the data that we get that we call dual pole data, and you can see signatures of, of damaged debris lofting in the air. Luckily enough, where we are, where we're standing right now, we're, we're close enough to the radar, uh, being as the radar is just right at the airport in Buffalo, that uh, the beam is not that far off the ground, so it's actually able to detect uh, some of the debris that's lofted in the tornado uh, when that occurs. So, um, you know, we, we heard uh, from, from Brian almost simultaneously with uh, making the decision that we were going to come here uh, because we, we had a pretty good idea that we were going to see something like we saw. From the, from the radar earlier. Correct. Is, not that it's your, your place, but is there any estimates on damage for the the bar, like what, what that would entail in terms of damage or anything at this point? I, you know, I couldn't speak. I, I don't know. We don't have a, a monetary amount on damage right now. Um, they are working with their insurance company who's going to be out later today to evaluate that.